Hi everyone, it's me Hilda from Low Carb Adventure and today we are going to be making a tag-along cookie from Girl Scouts. We're going to be making tag-along bars because we deserve to have Girl Scout cookies as well and I kept promising it so here you go. Okay, so as you know, the peanut butter tag-along cookies from Girl Scouts are peanut butter and they have a shortbread on the bottom. So we, I am going to show you how to make the shortbread substitute. And we put it all in the food processor and we start off with a quarter cup of almond flour and one third cup of sugar substitute. In this case, I am using monk fruit, but you may use swerve or whatever you feel comfortable with. And that's it for now. And we're just going to put it together. And once you have this, then you start incorporating uh, your butter, which I have a cup of butter here. No, it's a quarter cup of butter. And you, I, you have to have it pretty cold in order for it to do the shortbread uh, substitute thing. And you just start incorporating it into the um, fruit processor as you're going. So I'm just pulsing it in there for now. And I'm putting it in in small portions. Okay, and so uh, it, I, I put in one and a quarter cup of almond flour, and this is the consistency, and you'll see that it's a little bit like shortbread, and now I have my oven ready for to it to be baked at 350, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pan and do the bottom layer of my tag-along. Okay, so now I have made my mixture and it does look a little bit like shortbread. So now I have a pan here and I'm just going to put the bottom layer, washed my hands and now I'm going to put the bottom layer on the bottom so that it will be the first layer of my tag along. And as you can see, I'm doing it like this. Okay, so I have now spread most of it and you have to make sure that it does spread evenly. So you can use like a flat surface and make sure that it is all evenly spread on the bottom, as you can see. And now it is going to go in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes at 350 degrees and we will have to let it cool once it comes off completely because it is very fragile until it is cooled down. So I will do that now and then we will work on our second layer which is the peanut butter. Okay, so we are going to use two thirds cup peanut butter and I've already put some in and I'm gonna go ahead and put that and make sure you put this in a microwavable safe dish because we are going to put this in the microwave make life easier if you don't have a microwave you can do this on stovetop as well but and I notice you're using that chunky peanut butter well you don't have to you can use either one anyway I am going to put it with a quarter cup of butter and I am going to microwave it until and mix it until it is a creamy mixture. So I'm going to put it in the microwave. 
Okay, so, is it on? I'm going to cut it up in pieces to make it a little bit easier for the microwave because I think it was a little too much. So I'm going to put it in there for another 15 seconds. And you do this until you feel that it, the butter is pretty melted. Okay, so I put it in there for a total of 30 seconds in 15 second intervals. And as you can see, it is turning into a pretty smooth. Now I decided to use chunky uh, peanut butter, but you can also use smooth and I, I would think that Tagalongs have smooth, so you probably would be a better choice. Um, I had chunky at hand, so that's what I used. Okay, so as you can see, it is now a creamy mixture between the peanut butter and the butter. So now I'm going to add my remaining uh, ingredients which is half a cup of powdered um, sugar. Make sure it is powdered. In my case, I used allulose powdered sugar, and I'm incorporating that in there. And a quarter cup of whipping cream. And this is all you need for your peanut butter mixture. Oh. And about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. I just kind of eyeball it. But if you're going to use measurements, it's about a quarter teaspoon. And my peanut butter mixture is complete. And now I'm going to put it on top of the shortbread. Okay, so I have my peanut butter mixture and I am making the second layer of my cookie or rather bar in this case. So I am putting it all on top of the cookie. And once we are done with this, we have to let it cool again. That is the hard part about this, is the waiting games you're gonna be playing. But the Tagalongs have a pretty thick layer of peanut butter and so I have done this and I'm just putting it smoothly on so it is now uh, I have my layer all done and we're gonna let it cool and we're gonna go on to our last chocolate layer Okay, so now we have the peanut butter that's been chilling, and we are now doing our last layer, which is the chocolate. And I'm doing it in the bowl. <laughs> um, and here I have three and a half ounces. Three and a half ounces of Lily's unsweetened chocolate, and mix yeah. it with butter. About two tablespoons, I think. Two tablespoons of butter, and I am going to go ahead and microwave these two. Now, m make sure and do this in intervals because the chocolate can burn very easily. So I'm going to be doing it in 10 second intervals until it turns into a mixture. Okay, so I 
feel like I'm gonna stop putting it on the microwave. So it took three times in the microwave at 15 second intervals, but we finally got the consistency. And as you can tell, it is now chocolate. All right, so it is now ready to go on the top layer and you just put it evenly on the top layer. Okay, so I am finishing off the last layer and I'm just setting it. And now I am going to put it in the fridge for about half an hour to 45 minutes and let it all cool down and we are ready to eat. Okay, so I've cut it into pieces and now I am going to take it out. Mm, and you can see the shortbread, the peanut butter, and then the chocolate all layered. And I'm going to take a taste. Mm. 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 This is really good. Really, really good. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more great recipes like this, for more cookies, more all kinds of everything. Please uh, click on the little bell so you can get all kinds of notifications and give me a like. Till next time.